Alright guys, so next stage we're looking at our motor and thermistor circuit. So there are two processes we need to do here. We need to wire up our thermistor with our 10k resistor, along with getting our wires onto our motor ready to be able to attach. So we're cheating a little bit here. So we've got a, uh, with the little tabs already attached, so you're going to be getting one of these. The other thing we could do is solder some solid core to the end and then heat shrink over the top but we're going to shortcut that by using these instead so we're going to do the motor first and all we need to do there is i've got two of the ends we're going to strip off a little bit of those to be able to uh, attach those on so we're going to pull off just a little bit of those. So we've got those two through there. Now we could tin them first, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a little bit of a mechanical connection here as well. So these are fresh. If you've got solder on already, we could just solder them on place. But if you've got a little bit of a mechanical connection as well as the solder, that's not a bad thing. So I'm literally just going to wrap it around a little bit, give those a twist, add them through. Now what we probably want to do before we do that, just so that we get a slightly better connection, stretch these a bit further and we're going to add a little bit of heat shrink to these. So I'm going to grab just two little pieces, slide them over the top, Make sure you've got them twisted, so that's now out of the way. Twist that in. So now we've got those over the top. And then we can put them in place. Just make sure you've got those twisted well, so that they can slide through nicely. And then wrap around. Okay, so they're sitting there in place. All we're going to do now is make sure we've cleaned up our tip, give them a little clean. And we're going to add some solder to those connections. So that's good. And then repeat on the other side. Now that's in place, all I will do then is bring my heat shrink back over the top, give it a little bit of a, a wriggle so it will help hold those in place. The neater you can get those so that the heat shrink goes right over the top, the better connection you'll get. So you can see one of mine's pretty good, the other one's okay, not great. But they are then ready to be able to heat shrunk on, ready to be able to be attached. So that one's good. From there, we're going to go through and we're going to get these guys set up. So like the LDR, the thermistor is non-polarized. So what we need to do is we need to have our resistor in line on one leg. We're then going to be using our colored wires. So our ground, which is always going to be our black, is going to be attached underneath the resistor. If I can get them to sit in place. We've got our five volt, which is going to come through the other leg. And then above this, we want to have our signal attached there. So that's the process we're going to go through, just like our uh, LDR circuit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip off some ends of these so that we can get started on that. So one, two, three. So I've got three wires ready to go. The first step I'm going to do is I'm actually going to twist these two together. 
So wrap him around. That's good. And then I'm going to solder that in place. So add the heat, add the solder. And that's, that's it. So from there, this guy is going to be attached onto here. But remember, before we do that, we probably want to be able to attach this to our little side piece here so that it can go on the side of our house. So before we add our thermistor, add to the bottom, you should have your LDR already on the other one. So he's sitting there ready to go. And then I can add this guy. Again, it can twist them together a little bit. Keep that nice and neat make your life easier. If you've got any extra wire you can always trim it off later but that is now ready to go. What I want to do next is I'm going to now solder those in place. So add the heat and that's nice and neat. So next stage with that one there is I'm going to get a piece of heat shrink it will go over the top so that that's covered so that I can go with the next stage. So I'm going to go about there, cut him down, slide that over the top. Now if you've done it neat enough you should be able to use the 2mm but because we've got the, the resistor there it makes it a bit fatter. So we just want to gently work that over and make sure he's not getting attacked by any of the wires. So we'll keep working that up so we've got all of the, the wire attack covered and I might need to change over to a 3mm later but I'm going to leave that there and then I can get my ground wire attached through here and I'll need to add a little bit more coverage up there. But I'm going to leave that there for the moment and add my ground wire down here. So same process, I'm going to twist it on. So we've got a bit of a physical connection as well as next one here. Goes on there. get that attached and then solder them up. Now this starts to get fiddly and you've got other things in place as well. Alright, let's try that again. So solder Add the heat. All right, so then that leg is there, looking good. I'll add the heat shrink over the end of that one. And then he's covered there. And then the last thing I need to do is add my five volt to the other side. So he'll go in there. Again, give him a twist, get that physical connection as well before you connect him up. Alright, so that's there and then add my solder from there. So add the heat, a little bit of solder not particularly pretty. Let's see if I can clean that up a little bit. Smoothing out. Not my best efforts. But, let's see how we got a little bit of a poke out. We will want to clean that up and trim that off with our cutters before we go through with that. But last stage here, once I've cut that, is I'm going to add my solder at the top get a piece of 3mm over the top of that one so it's all covered up. 
little bit over there, and then he is ready to go. So we've got our five volts on one side, which is red, going through to a parallel leg with a, uh, our signal coming off, then the resistor, then our ground finishing off here with the black. And that is ready to go.